In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a data grid to display images. You might want to do this to display tables or forms in your application, or anywhere where you want to customize a table display to render content based on the data in each row. You learn how to create a data grid and set its contents, create a custom template for one of the columns, and add code to render an image in the custom column. I have some data in a field here, and what I want to do is to present this data very neatly with an image flag for each one of the country names. I'm going to start out by creating a data grid, and I'm going to move the contents of this field into that data grid by copying the contents, and then going into the properties for the data grid and pasting the contents in. If you want to do this by script, then you need to set the ggText property. So there is my data grid. And next what I want to do is I want to customize this column so that I'm displaying an image instead of the text. If I go into columns and select the column that I want to customize, the third column, and press plus, I'll be adding in a column behavior. Now what's happened is that it's loaded up the data grid template group. And this group is replicated as the data grid is rendered. And you can see that another group has been created in here. So make sure that select groups is turned off and go into edit group. And this is my custom group for column three. So if I go in here, this is the field that's currently being used to render the data. And I don't want a field, I want an image because I'm going to set the button icon. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm just going to do a new control and I'm going to create a blank button. I'm going to call that button flag and turn off the opaque property of that button as well. I'll go back into run mode to come out of edit group, and then I'm going to go back to this data grid, and I'm going to go to my column, and I'm going to press column behavior. This allows me to set the behavior that is associated with rendering this particular column. And right now, the column gets the data, which will be the country, passed in pdata, and it puts it into the field. So instead of doing that, we want to set the icon of button flag of me to, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct the name pdata and dot png, and you'll see what I'm doing here in just a second. I'm also going to change this instead of set the rector field one of me to the control rector. I'm just going to change that to button flag of me, and I'm also going to set the icon of button flag of me to empty in the reset handler there. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my images. So if I go into all images in folder, I have all of the country name flags and these are files are named the same as the country. So if you remember I constructed those names and if I import all of those objects and set the icon to that name, then live code will replace that with the ID. So all I need to do now is go here and hit the refresh button to replace that data grid. And there I have my images rendering on each line. 